When solving absolute value equations, we must isolate the absolute value expression on one side before writing the equivalent compound statement. That is, we need to get the absolute value by itself first. So add, subtract, divide, whatever you need to do to get the absolute value by itself. Then you can break it into two equations. So for example, the absolute value of 2x plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 10. Uh, before I can break it into two equations, let's go ahead and subtract 4 first. So now I have the absolute value of 2x plus 3 is equal to 6. So now the absolute value is by itself. Now I can break it into two equations. So 2x plus 3 is equal to 6. 2x plus 3 is equal to negative 6. So here I subtract 3. 2x is equal to 3. And then x is equal to 3 over 2. On the other hand, if I subtract 3, of 2x is equal to negative 9, and so x is equal to negative 9 over 2. Uh, for this one, 3 times the absolute value of 1 half x minus 5 minus 4 equal to negative 4. First thing, let's add 4 to both sides. So I'll have 3 is equal to 1 half x minus 5 equal to, well, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. I then divide by 3, so I'll have the absolute value of 1 half x minus 5 equal to 0. Since this is equal to 0, plus 0 minus 0 are the same, I just have one equation. This becomes 1 half x minus 5 is equal to 0. So add 5, I have 1 half x is equal to 5, and then if I times by 2, I get x equal to 10. And if I check this, if I let x equal to 10, 1 half of 10 is 5, 5 minus 5 is 0, 0 times 3 is 0, and then 0 minus 4 is negative 4. So it does check. All right, one more. Um, an incorrect solution to the absolute value of two plus two uh, absolute value of x plus two is equal to six is given here. Where is the error and what is the correct solution? Well, so the first step here they did is they rewrote it into two equations. They wrote it as x plus two equals six and x plus two equals negative six. For this first one, they get x plus six. They end up subtracting two from both sides and ending up with x equals four. The other one, they got x plus 2 equals negative 6. They subtract 2, they get x equals negative 8. And that tells they, they thus the solutions to their absolute value of x plus 2 equals 6 are positive 4 and negative 8. Well, let's check. So if I let x equal to 4, I'll have the absolute value of 4 plus 2, which is 6. So that does check. If I let x equal to negative 8, well, the absolute value of negative 8 is 8, plus 2 is equal to 10, and that's not equal to 6. So there is a problem with this statement here. There's a problem with that solution. So what should have been done? Well, if you see the absolute value of x plus 2 equals 6, break it. Um, get the absolute value of x by itself first. So the first step should have been subtracting 2 from both sides. And that would give you the absolute value of x equal to 4. And then from there, well, from there we can get the solutions right away. If we have the absolute value of x equal to 4, then that means x equals 4 or x equals negative 4. And if you check, both x equals 4 and x equals negative 4 work. So again, the first step is get the absolute value by itself, then worry about solving, break it into two equations and solving.